This is a full tutorial on how to properly debadge a 5M vehicle for the Z Modeler, Blender, and debadging YTDs. All the timestamps will be listed below, so skip to the part of the video where you need it. For starters, we're going to start off with Blender. First link in the description will bring you to Codewalker. Go ahead and download Codewalker. Once Codewalker is installed, go ahead and open up the RAR file it downloaded and click on the Codewalker RPF Explorer. Once installed, go to the second link in the description and download Solums. Once directed to the Solums' GitHub, scroll down and click on the Releases tab and click on the Solum zip to download the latest version of Solums. Next for Blender, Blender will also be linked in the description under Solums. There's two ways to download Blender. You can download Blender from the website itself or you can download Blender through Steam. Once Blender is downloaded, go ahead and open it. Go up to the top and click on Edit. Click on Preferences and under the Add-ons category, click the drop down arrow in the top right and install from disk. Next, you're going to go to wherever you download the Solum zip and install the file from disk. Once installed, you'll need to restart Blender. Once in Blender, you can go ahead and click A and click Delete to remove everything here. And click back on that side toolbar and click Solum's Tools. Once you click on Solum's Tools, click General and Import Codewalker. Now find that XML file that you exported from Codewalker and import it into Blender. Once imported, you'll see this big box around the vehicle. Go ahead and come over to view and click hide collisions. For the sake of the video, I'm going to debadge the Dodge in the back on Blender and debadge the Challenger in the front on Zmodeler. Now, before we go ahead, I'd like to recommend going to view, navigation, and setting a walk navigation debind by right clicking and assigning shortcut. Once that's done, click on the region you would like to debadge with left click and then click tab. You'll see all the vertices light up, come up to the top and click on the face select and now slowly zoom in to where you would like to debadge. To get started, you can just left click to deselect everything else. And if you hold left click and drag, you can select one region. But if you were to go to the next, it would deselect that. So hold shift and drag left click and keep holding shift and continue to select the vertices you'd like to remove. On certain angles, you can also come in and left click with control being held and click on another point and it will fill that region if possible. Now just rinse and repeat that process over and over until you have everything selected that you'd like to remove. Now, when it comes to deselecting these backgrounds, you can hold control shift and hold right click and drag your mouse over everything that you like to deselect. Once deselected, hold the delete key and left click vertices and you'll see everything that you just did is now gone. You can click tab again and click show collisions to get back the vehicle. Now click A and then you're going to export from Codewalker to wherever you would like. Once it's exported, Find your vehicle export and drag it back into Codewalker. Codewalker will automatically convert your file back into a YFT. You can open it and see your changes. Now you can drag your YFT back to your desktop and create a copy of it. This copy, you're going to go ahead and remove the dash copy and rename it underscore high. This will be your high YFT. And just like that, that car is done. You don't need to make files in XML. So we're gonna keep this YFT that we just reconverted through the Blender debadging. Open up your Z modeler, go to file and click import. Now click on the YFT. Make sure if you're loading textures, you have this selected under preloaded packs and click import. Once it's imported, go to the top and click on L0 under structure. And then go to where you have a badge so I'm going to get rid of the badge in the front, so come under here and remove everything. It's going to make it a lot easier. I know my badge is on the front bumper, so I'm going to toggle the front bumper. Once that's enabled, go ahead and select Quad R under the Select tab and hold right click and highlight the entire front bumper. Once selected, come up to the top and select Polygon and just click anywhere. Now that that's selected, come into your badge 
back under the select tab click on element and now anywhere that you have a vertice that you want to remove from the badge so i'm going to remove right here just right click and we'll auto select it so i'm going to do this the entire way across now that that's selected i'm going to go all the way back and remove the c cover there we go once i have everything selected go under modify and click delete now click anywhere because you have it selected and it'll automatically delete now that that's deleted you can go back to select and click on quad r come back up to the top and go back to object zoom all the way out and you're going to want to hold control and hold right click and drag it the entire way across it'll deselect everything and now you can come back over here and click show all to see your vehicle we did the back part in blender and just do the front part in Zimbabwe. Once your vehicle is done, rename over here what you would like the car to be exported as. So that's the name we're going to export the vehicle as. Now come over to File and click Select Export. Now we're going to paste that same file name that we just put here. And make sure your save type is, is a GTA Rage model and select export if you would like to lock the model it's completely up to you but for sake of the video we're just gonna export it as is and here's the new vehicle i'm gonna drag it just in the code walker and take a look at it and you can see everything in the front is completely removed and then when it comes to debadging a texture directory it can save you a lot of time because not all vehicles have badges on the model. Some badges are specifically just textures. So for this, all you're gonna want is a photo editor, paint.net or Photoshop, and a blank PNG. The blank PNG will be used to replace badges like this that are simply just a badge that we can't have and the transparent background. What you want the photo editor for is stuff like this and where parts of the vehicle have dodge or any brand tucked away in them so you would typically just right click replace and replace that with your transparent png and for this simple just export your file however you would like png if you're using photoshop dds if you have paint on it and then go into your photoshop Once in Photoshop, just open up the file, create a new layer, and select wherever you like to fill. This kind of same thing it doesn't really matter. Get your color and literally just paint over. It's as simple as that. Once that's done, you would just export it, come back, and just replace it with your newly created debadged version of it. When you're done, you would just save it. And then you would just open up the YFT files to view the changes and you would see like anything disappear like on the steering wheel specifically that would be a batch half the time that's in the textures uh, sometimes there'll be some up on the hood but most of the time it's interior badges and not actually outside on the 